you can make this dispersion better and better and you can look in more and more detail at these lines but they remain essentially single lines almost, not quite, but almost infinitely sharp. There's no way you could ever get that result just from classical mechanics. So this is a clear indication that the hydrogen atom and therefore matter itself is quantized. These sharp lines according to the Bohr picture of the atom can be viewed of as transitions between different allowed energy levels of the atom. So this concept of allowed energy levels, which is absolutely fundamental to spectroscopy, was something that came about because of this, the observations associated with this spectrum of the hydrogen atom. And in fact, this picture of the atom, the Bohr atom, was put together, unsurprisingly, by someone called Bohr. And is what Bohr assumed was that if you've got a wavelength associated with light and a wavelength associated with the particle, then it must be just oscillating in a wave-like fashion as it goes round. And Bohr said that for that to be appropriate, when the wave gets round to this end, say it starts there, and then it goes up and down, up and down, all the way round, it must join up again when it gets back to here. Because it has to be a complete wave going all the way round. And that means that only certain radii would give you that result. So he said that those were the allowed energy levels, and all the ones in between, all the possible energies in between, were forbidden. And that's where the quantization of this atom came about. We have a series of energy levels starting from n is equal to 1. From n is equal to 1, 2, 3, etc., etc., all the way up to infinity. The key thing is these lines are getting closer together as we go up in this number. Most remarkably, the entire spectrum can be described by this equation. This is the Rydberg equation. The Rydberg equation, he's expressed in terms of an energy unit, 1 over the wavelength. This thing RH here is the Rydberg constant for the hydrogen atom. It's given in wave numbers here, in reciprocal centimetres actually, 109468. In this equation, N1 and N2 are both integers. N1 is, if you like, the home position. So for the Lyman series, N1 is equal to 1. And then N2 takes the values N1 plus 1, N1 plus 2, N1 plus 3, so on, all the way up to infinity. For the Balmer series of lines, N1 is equal to 2, and then N2 can take the values 3, 4, 5, so on and so forth.